Peter, 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 Peter. Que pasa, sapa, say what they do. Now the first thing that is popping in the news and straight out of the files of a next one bite the dust or a next one locked up. I am speaking about a man and his name is Dwight Parks, O.C. Dada. And he is a member of the Coconut Ward gang we are speaking about in Montego Bay. Now I'm speaking specifically about an incident that occurred in a place called Spring Mountain District a couple of weeks ago. In which at least five persons were caught up and out of those five, two did not make it. Now this person was charged, arrested and charged by the Popo the other day from Montego Bay. And it is said that he was charged for murder, conspiracy to murder, amongst other charges. Now, based on information from the Popo, it is said that this man is a known gang member. This man is a violence producer. And this man was held because this man created all sorts of havoc and catastrophe in him here. Now, when we think about stuff like this, people, we have to remember there is always eyes in the skies. There is a Jamaica eye. There is always some sort of fly upon the wall. Somebody is going to see. Somebody is going to recognize that distinctive walk because the truth and the facts that everybody have a distinctive walk. Especially when you are a gang member. Especially when you walk with a swagger. Especially when you walk with a lean like you're leaning towards the side that your gun is supposed to be at. So somebody is going to know you. And what is even worse about this situation is the fact that these persons are usually from the area or in a close vicinity. So therefore the possibility or the probabilities are Jamaica is too small. It is the fact that whenever these persons do anything, within a couple of days, within a couple of weeks, months at the most, they are going to get caught because they are living their life like a bit. And like I have always said, why gain the world and lose your soul, lose your freedom. Now when that video was released, because there were a couple of videos going around social media, circulating all over social media, and we saw that there were a couple of suspects, and based on information from the Deputy Commissioner of Popo in the era, I am speaking about a person whose name is Clifford Chambers, he said that they are following strong lead for the other suspect. And this is based on some investigative works by the detectives of the major branch in the era. So people like me say, these youth seems as if they are on some sort of S-U-I-C-I-D-A-L mission are go straight to jail mission because every day them do the same thing. Every day the poor poor hold them. Every day the poor poor lock them up. Every day the poor poor take them out. So therefore, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over. However, it seems as if them head hard and people like them say, who oh, can I hear? They are going to feel point blank and period. So anyways, people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that. And like I say, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up. Now, before I move to the next part of my video, please subscribe to my next channel. It is called Jamaica Dance All Source. And I'll be pinning the link to that channel in the description of this video. And also, please subscribe to this channel. And when you subscribe, press the notification bell or icon. And also press all in the option. Now the next part of the video is called Be very careful what you ask for Be very careful the energy that you put out there Be very careful of the choices that you make And I am speaking specifically about a young man And he was a star football player And his name is Chad Trout Sorry, T-R-A-U-G-H-T -T. And he was a member of the Cambridge United Football Club We are speaking about in a man, Bay now he was taken out, he was one of those victims when the gunmen went on a rampage for the weekend and take out 25 persons. He was sprayed up by some men in a car and he was taken out on his veranda. Now before he died, he made a couple of posts on social media and I am going to let you hear these posts or share these posts with you. In the first post, he said that if you come for mine, you better bring yours. So people, we said that he was having some sort of glorification of the gang lifestyle he was promoting it he was letting persons know that he is basically armed and ready for anything else in the next post he made he showed himself in the cambridge jersey and he had the money rating so we saw that he was glorifying money in the next picture post that he made it said something the caption read something like this one family then 
Una like that question sign. Now, people, like I said, life is all about choices. You have to have faith. And I understand that sometimes life can be rough and you can't pay your bills. And it seems as if your back is against the wall. However, you have to just hold the faith because the truth and the fact is that, like I said, this man was a good football player. This man could have elevated his career and basically play some sort of professional sport. However, he saw that what was a hot topic. He saw that everybody wanted to be a gangster. He saw that the gangster lifestyle was the way to make some easy money, some quick cash. So therefore, he basically veered off his career path and he ended up in the worst case scenario because people, like I said, gone is the career, gone is all of his dream, gone is his life. He is now in the afterlife. So people, Majusa said he could not wait. He wanted it today. He wanted it yesterday. And he participated in something that was short-lived. And people, we saw that that is exactly what happened. So let this be a lesson to all of you aspiring criminals out there. If you choose that part, it is a part of destruction. Sooner or later, your number is going to get called. And whenever your number get called, nobody can call you again. May I talk about your picnic? May I talk about your mama and your papa? Point blank and period. So anyways, people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that. And like me say, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up. So the next thing that is popping in the news, it is called Thief, Thief, Thief and More Thief. We are talking about Two Foot Puss. We are talking about Two Foot Aina. Now, people, I know that there are sheep thief. You have cow thief, you have goat thief, but I did not know that there was also fish thief. And when we talk about fish, I don't talk about thief, she bought the half a man. I talk about the original fish, like parrot and doctor fish. Now, it is said that a man and his name is Raphael Robertson, and he is 63 years old. 63 people, that means that seven years before he is basically supposed to pass away, based on what the Bible says, three scores and ten. And basically two years before his retirement at 65. It is said that he was caught by the security at some sort of fish farm in St. Elizabeth. And this man is from Shiloh in St. Elizabeth. It is said that he was caught by the security. And the other younger man them take for themselves. However, it seems as if Mr. Robertson, Mr. Raphael Robertson and the next person thought that it was a good idea to confront the security. And people, one of the man them draw a machete after the security according to what the security said however he made a mistake because the security was armed the security had some sort of piece we are talking about some legal fire piece and the security blazed up some can in the direction of the man them and like me say this man is 63 and the other man them were a younger man younger thief and old thief so them take for themselves however he was not so lucky his feet were not as fast as you'd see in bold so therefore him pick up attack and he was taken out on the spot and people these are the pictures right here point blank and period now people when we list the stuff like this we have to ask the question isn't there a cutoff date as it pertains to thief? Aren't you supposed to stop thiefing maybe in your late 30s, 40s? That's pushing it. However, when you are 63, you are supposed to be home with your grand picnic them, with your woman in your rocking chair. I watch the breeze or I watch a tree them be a scully I swear from left to right. However, this man, I don't know what happened. And like them say people, he who fails to prepare in life prepares to fail. So therefore, if he did not establish himself and make sure he him have money safe him retirement, now in his late stage of his life, he is thiefing with some other young people. Now people, what I cannot find, what I cannot understand is that these people know so the people them have them fish farm. They have to pay money for pay employees. They have to pay security. However, they just want to go there and take the people them fish. Like them get the people them things to put on. However, we see say, the security put on this man in the ground. Well, not as yet in the ground. However, soon we are speaking about maybe a next month or two. So the moral of the story is this. When you see people things, leave it alone or else whatever you get at that you forget. That is what you are supposed to get. And the thing is that if you see a man with a toll, don't come chasing with any sort of machete. It is not a fear fight. More than likely you are going to lose your life. 
except in the case of the soldier where we see say, four man rush him and him chop off one of them and point blank and period so anyways people that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that and like me say it is just my views and opinion it is not the gospel your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine but let me know what you think in the comment section bless up